uh, Dr. Abby Al Husseini. I'm an honorary consultant cardiologist. I'm also the NIHR British Heart Foundation SCAD Fellow. My name's Ellie. I'm the um, research nurse that works on the SCAD today. This is very much a patient led research where a group of patients approached the PI, David Adlam, uh, with regards to finding answers to why SCAD happens and why it has happened to them and how do we best manage it. Uh, this essentially we started from a group of about 20 to 30 patients and now we have over 500 plus patients in the UK who have got um, recognised spontaneous coronary artery dissection which is the first research study of SCAD in the UK and pretty much also one of the largest in Europe. Uh, with this we've been collaborating with European partners, we've also been collaborating with transatlantic partners to find out the causes of SCAD, why it happens to patients and how do we best manage them and how do we follow them up. Well, we're very privileged um, to know that we have been nominated and uh, it's very much overwhelming and extraordinary to be in this position so I'm definitely very touched by this and I can talk for the rest of the team and we were a very small team running the show um, however we're lucky to have Ellie who's our research nurse and she coordinates the patients to be honest everyone in this hospital is probably somehow involved in SCAD research but probably our biggest team members are our patients they are part of the SCAD team I'm Sharon Podesti and I work as a Clinical Studies Development Officer um, for Primary Care, that's Division 5, um, and I cover the Derbyshire area. I nominated Sharon Podesti for the Exceptional PPI Engagement um, Award because of her enthusiasm and impact she's made for the, on the Derbyshire PPG groups. I'm based at Babington Hospital in Belpar and, and we're sort of office based here, but we tend to go out and about across the Derbyshire County to visit various GP practices and try and get them engaged in research. So I applied for some funding um, to put on a PPG engagement and awareness event. PPG stands for Patient Participation Groups. So we invited patient participation groups across the East Midlands to attend this event to try and raise awareness of research and try and encourage them to get their practices research active. Out of that group, the participants that attended from Derbyshire got together and started the Derbyshire PPG network. And um, one of their agenda items is to promote research within primary care in Derbyshire. So I attend their meetings and try and get them to um, do as they say and try and promote research within Derbyshire. So since then we've then applied for more funding and put on another event for the Derbyshire practices. Sharon has demonstrated an innovative way of building a forum to influence and shape the future voice of Derbyshire PPG groups in primary care in Derbyshire. I was really surprised to be nominated and I'm quite excited to um, go to the award ceremony. My name is Alan Smith. I'm Professor of Child Health at the University of Nottingham and I am a consultant paediatrician. I'm Nikki. I'm an Academic Clinical Fellow um, in Paediatrics. I have led something called a Priority Setting Partnership for Cystic Fibrosis. This is run through the National Institute of Health Research uh, through their James Lind Alliance and it aims to get clinicians, patients and in the case of children, their parents, to talk about what the priority should be for clinical research. Um, I've been involved in lots of different aspects from designing the um, surveys that we've been putting out to the public and um, other people involved in, in cystic fibrosis to find out what sort of research they want um, to prioritise. As a parent, I, I, I was really keen for the community to get involved in this because we are the people that live with it 24-7 and we are the guys that know how it impacts us. We can make sure that the research we're doing is of most benefit to our patients and to help minimise the research waste um, that's becoming quite a big issue at the minute to make sure that the funding and the resources that we use are, are used in the best possible way to benefit our patients. This has been such a successful project and I think being shortlisted as a finalist for this award is, is um, testimony to all the hard work that um, everybody who's been involved has, been, has put in and um, the results will make a difference to um, people with CF all over the world. Mm -hmm.